Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another amazing episode of the Stephen. Dr Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Jarvis podcast. I'm your host, Stephen Jarvis, and today we are talking about the 1974 Italian vigilante film Street Law, starring Franco Nero, who originally played a guy, a character by the name of Django in the aptly titled name movie Django. But in this one, he plays Carlo Antonelli, who is an engineer who is mugged, beaten, and pretty much left by a group of bank robbers. Um, the police end up dropping their investigation into the matter, and he decides to take justice into his own hands, where the muggers eventually find him again. They beat him up for the second time, and he enlists the help of uh, another robber to help him take his revenge, which he later does get, and the movie ends. It's pretty much a ripoff in a way of Death Wish, except for in Death Wish, his the main character's family gets attacked, where in Street Law, he gets attacked and his family doesn't. So, I mean, in a way, it's a carbon copy of it. Other than, you know, he doesn't go all Charles Bronson on everyone with all different weapons. And in Street Law, I would say that you feel more sympathetic towards Franco Nero's character because he gets his ass beat so many times that by that time you're just like, well, dude, why don't you just hire people to do this? Like, it was that bad. And so when I first watched this movie, I was kind of like, well, why is he continuing to, one, get his ass beat, and two, he um, he doesn't even really try and fight back most of the time when he does. And it's just like, you're supposed to believe in this character, but at the same time, it's like, do I want to believe in this character? Should I believe in this character? What is his motivation? And I mean, if you're going to copy Death Wish, at least do what Death Wish did. And the reason why I say it kind of copied Death Wish is because Death Wish comes out first in 1974 and Street Lock came out later in, uh, I think it was September, where Death Wish, I think, came out in june or july of 1974 so you know the parallels were there the only difference is is that at that time death wish had not been released in italy yet and so this movie and also death wish kind of bring about the vigilante films that we would later get in the later part of the 70s um but street law does really good. I mean, it, it, Franco Nero gives a, you know, kind of a pansy pacifist way of getting through the movie until he finally has no other choice but to fight to save his life and to save the young robber who helps his life, even though that young robber later dies in the end. Um, it also stars Ringo Starr's wife, Barbara ba Bach, and she plays Carlo's wife. The one thing I do have to say that I didn't like about the movie is how Franco Nero's character is portrayed. I mean, near the end, you're cheering for him, but it's just it, it gets to the point where it's just it, it drags on a little bit with his contempt for wanting to get revenge revenge on this gang that had beat him up or these three robbers that beat him up and when ever he finds them his first instinct is i gotta call the cops so then he calls the cops cops aren't gonna be willing to help him out and then it's like well now i gotta take vengeance and it's just it, it, it's such a weird role for franco nero because in django when he played django he was a badass in that film. I mean, how many characters would you think are pansies in a movie when they're literally dragging behind them a coffin? And so it, it like I said, it really drags on as a movie. 
But once it gets to the meat and potatoes and it gets to the action part, which is near the very end of the movie, it it's really good. And I wonder in TikTok if I could find a, a trailer for this. That they'll actually let me use and not be like, oh, well, you can't do that because it's copyrighted or whatever crap. No one cares, people. Come on, where is the... Um, I wonder if they'd have it on YouTube. Let's see. Here's one of the trailers. I'm going to do this. Share screen. Share screen. And we're going to go to that. And we'll tap on this one. Street law. A new kind of justice. In this jungle, somebody has to be king. They had the gang, they had the weapons, and he was out to blow them away. Franco Nero wields the killing cannon in street law. Some men live by it, some men die by it. Survive on these streets, and you can survive anywhere. Street law, rated R. And so, yeah, that that that's the tr English trailer or probably the American trailer for the movie. Um, I, I wish they put in the tagline Franco Nero plays by street law. I, I think that would have been a little bit better, but I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Um, Saturday, I won't be able to do a live stream because I have to go to my brother-in-law's wedding. So Friday... I will probably do either have a guest on for the live stream, which I'm hoping, fingers crossed, or I'll just do a live stream, um, gaming stream on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.com slash TTV Jarvis. And uh, that name will change. I, I think I'm going to go with my gamer tag on Xbox that I use on everything else. So um, join me on Friday. Thank you so very much for watching, and hopefully, if you haven't checked out the film Street Law, you can watch it on Tubi. You can watch it, I think, on YouTube as well. Um, it's definitely a... I mean, if you love old movies, it's a great watch. But if you're kind of like, uh, you know, Stephen kind of talked me out of it, which I'm sorry for that if I did. It 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 is a great movie. It really is. It's just, it's one of those Italian movies that kind of ripped off another movie in a way so thank you so very much if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification button and comment tell us that we're doing good tell us that we're doing great if not tell us that we suck you know we take constructive criticism um as well as the next person also if you haven't yet go over to twitch and go to ttv jarvis and hit the follow button where you'll see a lot of goofy shit on there and have a lot of fun. Thank you so very much. I will see you on Friday.